I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review. We were given an absolute treasure trove of cards yesterday, four or rather five new league SBC cards, two new leagues and a team of the season card in Luis Gustavo. And of course, we've got two versions of Edda Militao, and I ha already had player reviews backed up, so I've got no idea what to do with all this content. How does 24 videos today sound? Let's get into it then. Luis Gustavo's 90 rated team of the season card, three star, three star, high defensive work rate, medium attacking, and a high and average body type at six foot two. You've got an awful lot of good CDM options in FIFA, so this card is going to have to be something pretty impressive to warrant going after it. The only real reason I can see uh, anyone wanting to go and complete this by... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say by looking at the stats, because if you actually look at the stats, he's got a, an awful lot of good stats on him, right? But the only, I, th I think the only real reason you're going to want to complete him and put him into your team over another option might be because you've got a few cards that you want to use like Visca or Sosa or anyone like that that like Clichy for example you need to give links to the beautiful thing about him is, is of course that he's Brazilian so you've got an awful lot of option he does link to Edda Militao uh, ironically enough and of course you can maybe then get Clichy in on the left and give him some sort of chemistry link there there's there's a lot of options right which is beautiful now if you look at the stats uh, I'm going to tell you, his points per position is 94 rated CDM without anything on him at all. If we give him my go-to chem style for a CDM, which is a backbone, he turns into a 97 rated CDM and he remains the same as a powerhouse. The reason I prefer to give backbone chem styles to CDMs is to give them the strength boost. You don't actually need to do that with Gustavo because he's got 90... Uh, is it 94? one no 90 strength anyway so it's kind of up to you what you want to do there, there is another option of course you could go for the guardian which again still makes him a 97 rated cdm so you're going to get basically the same results with this it's going to come down to personal preference the guardian will give him better agility uh, better ball control and better dribbling for me personally i would much rather have the backbone which is going to give him 99 for interceptions defensive awareness stand tackle and slide tackle 87 heading not that that's too relevant anyway but still uh, 95 strength which is a nice little boost not that you need it but it's still nice to have 90 jumping again not that you need it but it's nice to have and then 99 short passing 91 crossing and 94 vision that my friends is one of the best CDMs in FIFA, and I will not hear another word about it. That is a great card. It really is a good card. Now, the entire league is not exactly a cheap one. I mean, it's not the most expensive league in the game, that's for damn sure. I don't actually know the price of it, so I'm going to go check it, but obviously I've, I've completed it, so I, uh, I know rough... I, I say I know roughly. I've had that league ready to go for quite a while, so I couldn't exactly tell you how much it costs to build... I can tell you, though, that it will cost you, if you want to go build it right from the get-go, uh, from the ground up, it's going to cost you between 170 and 190,000 coins, which, for this card itself, is actually not a bad price. I mean, if you if you think about it from a how much use am I going to get from it point of view, obviously only you know how much you're going to play this game, and only you know if he fits your team. If he does fit your team, then... Obviously, if you play the game a lot, you're going to get a lot of use out of him, right? Because this is a, I mean, this is a top, top CDM. This is a proper end game card here. You're not really going to find many CDMs better. You will find CDMs that are sort of better rounded so that you have maybe more agility, more balance, slightly more pace, maybe better in front of goal if that matters to you. Maybe with a four star weak foot if that matters to you as well. But in terms of all the key areas, we're talking high defensive work rate, we're talking height, we're talking strength, good uh, passing so that when he does retrieve the ball, he can play it out from the back. And of course, you've got really good uh, defensive stats there as well. And with the chem style, they're basically unrivaled by anybody else because they are perfect across the board, apart from heading, which is irrelevant. We already know that. So yeah, I, I really don't see many cards competing with this. So for um, ignore the packs you get back, 
for the 170, 190,000 coins this is going to cost you if you just did the league from the ground up and didn't have anything in your club already, that's actually not a bad price. And, and I'm amazed. I mean, okay, it probably will go up in price upwards of 200,000 coins and the higher it goes the less value you get out of it of course but you are going to get a lot of packs back for this as well how many segments are there is it 16 18 16 i forget it's one of those 18 segments it was i knew it was one of those so you get 18 segments that's 18 packs okay some of them are not great but with the turkish league cards in packs right now you have a decent chance of packing one of those because obviously some of them are silver some of them are low rated gold non rays and so on so there you go not bad. Let's move in. I mean, you've been watching the clips for a while now. I've been abs talking absolute nonsense. But let's talk about this card. Is it actually as good in-game as it is on paper? I, I'll, I'll, let me just get the, the negatives out of the way first. Because to be honest, there aren't that many. So we might as well talk about them. First of which... I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. A lot of people will moan about it. The weak foot, yeah, it's not ideal. Did I have a problem with it? Not really. I think Kante's got a three-star weak foot, has he not? Maybe he's got a four. I think he's got a three-star. I, I don't have a problem with my CDMs having... Uh, poor or less than four star weak foot. I mean, okay, so if, you had, if you had a two star weak foot, we I probably would be complaining, right? But a three star weak foot is nothing really that damaging as a CDM. Maybe if you're like, you know, top 100, elite one kind of standard and those little margins do make a difference, I get it, that's fine, it makes sense, right? But for, for most of us who are, you know, probably gold players, maybe some silver players, maybe bottom elite players and things, Otherwise, if, you, if you're watching this and you're above an elite player, like you are elite two, elite one standard, I would question why you're watching play reviews of someone who isn't that good. But at the same time, I appreciate your custom. So either way, but either but either way there, right? Three star weak foot isn't going to bother me. The only other remotely negative thing to talk about here is his agility. He doesn't feel particularly like mobile. He's not too loose, if that makes sense. So you will have some stiffness there. His height definitely doesn't help. His body type is high and average. So that isn't ideal either. So if you are looking for someone who's very mobile, who can... I mean, doesn't feel slow. That's not what I'm saying. You know, his, his acceleration is 84. And if you do want to, I don't know, stick a shadow on him for whatever reason, you can do that. And that he gets 99 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. You basically get high 90s. Not quite 99, but you do get high 90s across the board. He is only a 96 rated CDM, but I can understand why you would because Shadow and Hunter chem styles are kind of broken. So, yeah, I can understand why you do that. He would feel a little bit quicker there. But in terms of mobility, just know that he does sometimes feel a little bit like a boat. Uh, you know, quite quite an agile speedboat, but not really, you know, like liquid, if that makes sense. You know, hopefully it does. It probably doesn't. It sounds a bit stupid having heared it back. But, yeah, he's not like Kante agile but he's not like um i don't know nicholas bentner either you know you, you are gonna get you are gonna get some um mobility out of him now let's talk about the good things well we have some time left here because the good things about this card they just keep coming and coming in waves he does have decent acceleration when it comes to jockeying he does feel quite mobile. I mean, again, he's not super fluid, but he can definitely get the job done. I am these days playing with more than one CDM. I did used to play 412 and 2 for, well, since September until May the 11th, I was playing 412 and 2, and I would, I would very rarely venture away from that formation. But recently, I have been using 433, 4321. I have dabbled in 4231 as well. I don't understand why that formation is as popular as it is because I can't really get on with it with one striker like separated that far from the, the other attackers. But hey, each to their own. Two CDMs and just stay back while attacking. This guy dominates, absolutely rinses attackers. Doesn't matter who they are. I was playing Red Mbappe. I was playing against Ronaldo, uh, team of season, Aubameyang, Human Son. Didn't make a blind bit of difference who he came up against. He is an absolute brick wall. You cannot get past him if you are capable of defending in this game. He is so, so good. His, his jockeying, regardless of agility and balance, don't even worry about it. It's more than capable of, of keeping track of those players. His reactions and his composure stats really do help out there. So that's sometimes you know, when you're trying to move around and you've got the ball, he doesn't feel great. But when you are trying to cover the space and cut the passing lanes and stuff, he feels very, very good. His defensive stats across the board with a backbone chem style, I might add, very, very good. His passing is accurate. It's crisp. It's sharp. I did have a couple of shots with him. And um, 
I did end up scoring. I'm not sure if that's going to make it in the video, though. Uh, but I did end up scoring a goal with him, and it was a bit of a dodgy goal, to be fair. So I'm not going to take advantage of that 98 long shots, 99 shot power. But he does have it in his locker if you, you know, if you feel the need and you do get that close to goal with him. Take a shot. Why not? Give it a go. And um, and you may end up coming away with a with a really nice finish because that long shot stat is no joke. But all in all, that card is if you can get it for under 200k and you have to build it from the ground up, actually, it's not that bad value at all. But you get all those packs back for it if you do a league SBC method. Just a great card to pick up. Probably one of the better League SBC cards we've had in a long time. Let me know if you are planning on completing the whole league just to get Luis Gustavo, or whether you're just going to do it naturally anyway. If you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favour and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.